Hey guys, um, today I am going to be doing the root beer float dip. So I got some A&W and I got tough guy vanilla here. So, um, first off, this one's already been open. Tough guy's good. Um, let me open up this A&W. Smells really good. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of the vanilla flavor for Tough Guy. I like their orange flavor better. But I'm going to grab a nice fat pinch of that. See if I can, uh... I don't know if I can. Um, let me see if I can get this in focus right here. Why don't I just... Put some a and on that. So this is the Root Beer Float. Right here. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Got that juice on my face. So first off, trying it out. The root beer had a big effect on it when I first put it in, but. Tastes more like just the straight up uh, vanilla here. Um, I mean, this isn't bad. I do like their orange better. Their lemon's okay too. I haven't tried any other flavors other than this, the orange and lemon. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's probably my favorite right now. Um, tough guy. I like the cut. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, taste, uh, taste okay, and, uh, thought it'd have more of a root beer float effect on it, where it tastes like you have, um, the ice cream and the root beer mixture, kind of. It did at first, but I just got the, um, vanilla flavor now, and, uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite though, like I said. But, uh, packs a buzz usually. Um, I like the fat cut, like I said, uh, because it's easier to pull out, you get a bigger lip. And, uh, I think that's gonna call it. Root beer float flavored dip. Um, it's okay doesn't last long um, probably have a better chance of just drinking root beer and having this in to get the same effect but uh, yeah it's gonna call it guys and uh, peace out